What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for another Fate video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the calendar for September 2021. Now, September is going to be, honestly, a um, bit of a, a really uh, slow month as far as um, banners go. There is a really good reason for that, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But for the most part, there is not a lot happening in the month of September. Now, they can swerve us a little bit and throw in something, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Don't think it's going to happen, but I will mention it just because it's possible. Um, but yeah, there's no new servants in the month of September that are going to be coming out in the game. And I think that's a good thing. So I'll get to that in a little bit. But um, for the 1st of September, we still do have the leftovers of the Interlude 10 campaign banner. So you have the opportunity to pull for Jack, Tesla, and Parvati. Uh, those will be the three characters available to pull for for the uh, interlude banner. This is also going to be the final day to pull for them. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of time left on that. Uh, as of this recording and the way when this video is posted, uh, you'll have um, a couple hours left to go ahead and get those pulls done. So moving on to the second is where the month of September really um, is going to be for a lot of different players, and that is for Gilfest. So Gilfest is probably one of the grindiest events in the game for good reason. Uh, it's an unlimited lottery event, so you can just farm a whole bunch of materials and EXP items and uh, like mana prisms, quantum pieces, all that stuff. Uh, so basically, uh, most people are going to be spending the next two weeks just grinding that out. Uh, myself included, uh, definitely going to be getting on the Gilfest. Uh, last year, I was not able to. Um, go as much as I wanted to because of my computer issues with it crashing um, and hopefully things will go a lot better for me this year so fingers crossed that I don't suddenly have computer issues overnight so yeah there is that there is also the class based um, banner that is going out at the moment I did forget to mention it for the first but on the first you do have the opportunity to pull for the extra class and the berserker class so if you wanted to pull for anything on that banner, then you know that would today would be your opportunity to do so if you are watching it at the time of this recording. Uh, so I guess just to extend the length of this video a little bit because there really is not a whole lot to talk about. Um, as far as extra class goes, there are some opportunities there, like pulling for Salieri to get copies would be something. Uh, Satoni would be a pretty good pull considering she's story locked. Wouldn't necessarily recommend pulling for Gorgon because she is literally on the next banner. Um, as far as Berserkers go, uh, really, if you want Kualter, go for Kualter. Um, but I wouldn't recommend anything else for that day. Uh, so yeah, the second is the Gilfest banner. So you have Gilgamesh coming out as the 5-star archer. Uh, obviously, it is the event named after him, so naturally he should and is on the banner you also do have the uh four star avenger gorgon who will be available and you also have the three star jaguar man available now gorgon and jaguar man are both story locked characters so if you don't have them it is actually like worth pulling for uh you could also get the craft essences for the event which will allow you to get increased drop rates uh which will definitely help with your farming I might throw a couple multis trying to get Gorgon. I'm not going to go too hard for it because I'll just take her with the next ticket we get, whenever that is. Um, but, you know, it would be cool to be able to get a couple more of the uh, craft essences to help me with farming. I already have Gilgamesh, so really not anything that I'm really going after. But if you don't have them, uh, definitely, definitely uh, something to consider. Me personally, though, I'd rather just spend my St. Quartz farming. Uh, we do also have the turnover for the classes, so you have the Saber and the Archer. Uh, on the graphic it has the third, I just couldn't fit it in for the second, but they are there on the second and the third. So as far as the Sabers go, not much really to, uh, to pull for there. Um, you know, since there was new, no new servants in the month of September, I just went for uh, whichever servant I really wanted to. I used Gilgamesh last year. So I couldn't use them again this year. I'm trying not to repeat servants. So I just want to go go ahead and uh, pulled out a really cool image of Mordred for the backdrop for September. 
Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend pulling for any of the savers. Uh, Riders, um, you know, Achilles is really good, but he has a rate up later in the year. Uh, Quetzalcoatl could be something to pull for, considering that she is story locked. So uh, you could try and go for her there. Don't think she has another rate up this year, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, she is a character that I need, but not going to be pulling for her at all. Um, definitely not that interested at the, this point in time. As far as Gilfest banner, the characters that are rated up for Gilfest literally are rated up the entirety of the event. Uh, so really not going to be talking about that too much because it doesn't change. So uh, moving on, so we're going to go ahead and skip over to the fourth now. And this is pretty much just swapping over days for the class banner. So we're going to have the archers and the casters rated up. Um, as far as archers go, really nothing to pull for, honestly. Um, I don't recommend pulling for archers at all. And then for casters, again, there's nothing there. Uh, if you really need waiver that badly, wait for him to get the ticket. We're going to be getting the ticket in less than a year. So just use your ticket on waiver. Outside of that, save your St. Quartz. So now we're going to be skipping over to the 6th, which is going to be the next rotation for the class banner. Uh, and this will be Lancers and the Assassins. So for, for Lancers, you know, don't recommend pulling for anything there. And as for Assassins, nope, don't recommend pulling for anything there. If you were interested in pulling for Jack, just pull it for her today on the Interlude banner and try and get her there. You'll probably have better odds of getting Jack. Outside of that, uh, you could try and pull for Lee because he is story locked, but uh, really not recommended in my opinion. And then we go ahead and skip to the 8th where we'll have the second rotation of the Extra and Berserker classes. I already talked about those, so not much else to cover there. So now, um, from the 9th until the 16th, there's no changes to the banners, so we're not even going to talk about them. We're going to skip right over to uh, the, the 16th, which is the last day of Gilfest. So if you uh, did want to pull for those characters, you will have to uh, wrap up your summons by then. But this is nice because it does give everyone a chance to just grind and just enjoy the game. I do believe the second wave of Gilfest is where you really want to like hammer down on grinding. And it's nice that they really don't have any banners that will get in the way. Now, of course, they could always throw something in the mix, uh, but for now, there is really nothing there. Moving on to the 17th, we do have a new banner, which we may or may not get. It is the Kyomaf 2019 uh, campaign. Now, this will have Kintoki rated up alongside Murasaki, as well as Summer Raiko. This one's always up in the air. Never sure if we're going to get it. I do think we're going to get it, though, just because... Um, from the 17th until the 30th, there's no content planned for us. And this is probably a really good thing because everyone's going to be burnt out after Gilfest. And it would be really difficult for us to, uh, you know, get a new event right after Gilfest ends. Um, which is entirely possible. They could go ahead and throw the Halloween rerun at us. But I'm not expecting that to happen. I am very much expecting... A dead couple of weeks here to give everyone time to recuperate from the uh, Gilfest grinds that's what I'm hoping for anyway now this banner does change slightly so uh, I will go ahead and just kind of run through this real quick uh, so the 17th 18th and 19th will be the same with all three characters rated up the 20th through the 22nd will have Murasaki rated up with Raiko the 23rd through the 25th will have Kintoki rated up with Raiko, and then the 26th until the 30th will have all three of those characters rated up for that period. Um, I do believe this banner will spill over into October 1st, but they could end it on the 30th as well. We'll have to wait and see. And of course, like I said, they could throw in another event maybe on the 24th or whenever, who knows, but they could just start on October 1st with the Halloween rerun leading into Saber Wars. Um, yeah, there's just a whole lot of stuff that we're looking forward to, but that's going to be next month, and that's fine, because that gives us plenty of time to grind for Guildfest and save for Space Ishtar. So yeah, as a wrap-up, there are no servants that I'm going to be um, going after hardcore. 
I might pull a couple for Gorgon, I might pull a couple for Kintoki, but outside of that, I have no intentions of whaling for the month of September whatsoever. And I'm just gonna save up all my St. Quartz for Space Ishtar because I will, uh, I hope I don't jinx myself by saying this, but I will be attempting to MP5 her, especially now with the new coin system. So yeah guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about the month of September. Also, new thumbnail, new design for that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that new thumbnail. And let me know in the comments down below if you are. And that is it for me guys. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.